right, welcome to module three, lesson one. Today's objective, make equivalent fractions with the number line, the area model, and numbers. This is actually a fourth grade skill. So I'm hoping that this will be pretty much a review. Okay, so go ahead and get out your um, learn books and we're going to go right into the problem set and we're going to go do this together. So make sure you have your lesson one problem set out and pause it, pause the video if you need to go get your book and open to the right page. We're going to do this together. Okay. Number one, use the folded paper strip to mark points zero and one on the number line. So here's our number line, zero and one. Uh, and then we're going to write in our fractions. So uh, let's split that in half. This would be one half, right? Zero, one half, one. Well, zero also equals zero halves. And one also equals two halves. So let's draw it in our boxes. Okay. Read the directions carefully. Draw one vertical line down the middle of each rectangle, creating two parts. Okay. Shade the left half of each. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of them right away. Sorry, my lines aren't that straight. I'm going to shade those in. One half, one half, one half, one half. And I can write this in right away. One half, one half, and one half. Now what I'm going to do it says, shade the left half of each, partition with horizontal lines to show the equivalent fractions 2 fourths, 3 six, 4 eighths, and 5 tenths. So I'm going to partition with a horizontal line. And what I've done now is I've got 1 half, and now I, I've sh I have 2 shaded parts and two non-shaded parts. So it's two out of four and I've changed it into four, two fourths. How did I do that with multiplication? I did one half equals one half times two times two equals two fourths. Okay. So let's try it with two with let's make it into three sixes. Okay, I'm going to make this into one, two, three, four, five, six. There's three sixes. How did I do that mathematically? Well, I took one half and I multiplied it by three on the top and three on the bottom which gave me the equivalent fraction of 3 6. So 1 half equals 3 6, right there. Let's see if we can do it with 4 eighths. Now I'm going to divide this into 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4 colored boxes and out of 8 colored boxes. Okay, or out of 8 boxes total. How did I do that mathematically? One half times four multiplied by the top and the bottom. And I get one half equals four eighths. These are equivalent fractions. Last one. Okay, so I, I've got my two fourths, three sixes, four eighths. Now the last one is five tenths. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Now I've got five out of ten shaded. And I did that by multiplying both the bottom and the top of the fraction by five. Okay, so five times one is five, two times five is ten, one half equals five tenths. All right, let's do it again. Use the folded paper strip to mark points zero and one above the number line and zero thirds, one third, two thirds, and three thirds below it. Zero, 
one, one third, two thirds, and you know that one equals three thirds, and zero equals zero thirds. Okay, so zero thirds, one third, two thirds, three thirds. Now below it, I'm going to do the same problem as number one, but with thirds. So, okay, now I've got I'm not just splitting it in half, I'm splitting it into thirds. Okay, I'm trying to be as equal as possible. Sorry if they're not perfect. There's one third, there's one third, one third, that one's kind of fat, sorry, and one third. Okay, and down here I've got one third equals, one third equals, one third equals, and one third equals. Now I'm going to change colors so you can see my horizontal lines. Let's go with this dark purple here. I'm going to split that in half. Now I've got two out of one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've gotten two out of six. Okay. And let's see if I can do that mathematically with multiplication. One third times two, one third times two, one times two is two sixes, three times two is six. Now I've got one third equals two sixes. There's my equivalent fraction. Okay, let's do it into threes. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got three out of nine highlighted there. How did I do that mathematically? One third times three. Three times one is three. Three times three is nine. One third equals three ninths. Okay, let's do this by four. One third, now I've got one, two, three, four out of one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, one third times four on the top, four on the bottom, one times four is four, three times four is twelve. Now I've got one third equals four twelves. Okay, last one, one, two, three, four, five. I've got one, two, three, four, five on the top out of six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen on the bottom. And mathematically I can show that by multiplying both the top and the bottom by five. One third equals five fifteenths. Those are my equivalent fractions. Okay, next page. Three fourths. Ooh, this one's more tricky. Here's my number line. There's zero. There's one. Okay. I've got one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and this is four fourths, and this would be zero fourths. Okay. And that means I need to split that into four but it's three-fourths, so it's three-fourths, or let's see, there we go, draw my lines in right away, they're all going to be the same, and it's three-fourths, so I want to highlight, or sorry, color in one, two, three out of four, one, two, three out of four, one, two, three out of four, one, two, three out of four. So here's three fourths, three fourths, three fourths, three fourths. And I'm going to switch my colors again. How about a bright green? I'm going to split that in half. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six out of seven, eight, eight. 
And mathematically, I just multiplied 3 fourths times 2 times 2. 3 fourths equals 6 eighths. Okay, here let's try it with 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 over 10, 11, 12. And mathematically, I did 3 fourths times 3 times 3. And that gives me 3 fourths equals 9 twelfths, my equivalent fraction. All right, next one. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16 out of a 16. What did I multiply here? I split it into 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3 fourths times 4. Whatever. When I multiply times the top, I have to multiply times the bottom. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. 3 fourths equals 12 sixteenths. Last one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15 out of 20. And I did that by 3, 4 times 5. 3 fourths equals 15 twentieths. Great. Okay, number 4 is a mixed fraction. Well, not a mixed fraction, it's an improper fa fraction. So here's my 0, and here's my 1, but it's 6 fifths, so 6 over 5. Well, 1 over 1 is 5 over 5, and 0 over 1 is uh, 0 is 0, 5. So here I've got 1 fifths, 2, 3, 4 fifths, and over here is 6 fifths. So 6 fifths goes over here. 4 fifths, 3 fifths, 2 fifths, 1 fifth, which means that each of these gets split into 5. Okay, so 1, oh, that was not a straight line. Let me try again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, three, four, five. So these are fifths. I'm going to do the same over here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It says model two equivalent fractions for six fifths. So six fifths, I'm going to shade in. Let me use a different color. I'm going to shade in six fifths. There's one, two, three, four, five, six fifths. Okay, I'm do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six fifths. Excellent. Now, I've got my six Six fifths, and I want to make an equivalent fraction, so I'm just going to split it right in half. Okay, now what do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve out of 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so that's 10. Okay, so I've got 12 tens. What I did here then is 6 over 5 times 2 times 2. Works just the same way. So 6 fifths equals 12 tenths. That is an improper fraction, and we will turn it into a mixed fraction later. Don't worry about the mixed fraction right now. If you know how to do, um, if you know how to turn an improper fraction into a mixed fraction, awesome. It looks like this. Perfect. And if you know how to simplify, that's even better. One and one-fifth. But I will accept that 
this answer right here, that's fine. Okay. All right, next one. Let's try another equivalent fraction. This time by 3. So 6, 5 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15. Oops, sorry. I, I said 18, but I wrote 16. 18 out of 15. So what did I do? Six fives times three times three equals 18 15. Six times three is 18. Uh, five times three is 15. Six fives equals 18 fifteenths. There's my equivalent fraction. Perfect. All right, the next section is your homework. It's just like we just did now, so you can go ahead and do that. Okay, looks exactly the same, except read your directions here. That one's thirds, perfect. You know how to do thirds. Shade the one third of each, okay? And then use your horizontal lines. Okay, next is, um, fourths, so zero to one, and then you need to write in four fours, and one four, and then draw them in. Okay, number three, four fifths, four fifths, and number four is equivalent fraction for nine eighths, nine eighths, nine eighths. Okay, so how are you going to do that? You're going to have to split this. It's going to be a little tight, but you can do it. And that's it. Okay, your exit ticket, which I also want you to do right here. Estimate the, um, the mark points 0 and 1 above the number line, and then this one is 6's, okay? 1 sixth to 6 sixths. That's a fun word to say, sixth. And then um, this. Now remember, your exit ticket goes in the grade book, so do a good job on this exit ticket. Um, and your homework, we will go through in class. All right, I hope this was a good video for you.